What's going on guys, Sadie Win Oak Ridge. This is week 84 of the DVD Fiends. Uh, today I want to review Buried in the Sand, The Deception of America. Um, I heard about this from Mad Puppet Death. She made a comment on a video where people were asking, do snuff films really exist? And I must say, after watching this, this is concrete evidence that it does. Um, it was a real wake-up call for me, and I think a lot of you guys need to see this. Just Google Buried in the Sand and a link should come up. Um, I got the DVD just in case if it was banned, I would have a copy of my own because um, I'm a sick fuck. But anyway, this starts off with random people receiving beatings that you couldn't even imagine. These people are beaten within every inch of their life. Um, a lot of these people are on the ground, defenseless, some unconscious, and these bastards continue to beat on them. Uh, they're told to do something that's done. That's how Saddam you know, runs things. I'm sure you guys are aware of that. But as it goes on, the sequences of violence become more extreme and more shocking. Um, the next scene, they show people that lose their arms. They get their arms chopped off with a machete. They get their hands chopped off. And I guess this was a result of um, them being indicted on theft charges. Saddam wants all of, you know society to know that these people um, are guilty of theft and that they shouldn't be trusted and he's not fucking around. Well, after that, they show a bus that was blown up, and we see dead children on the ground. There's a dead little girl with half of her head removed. Um, they show a pretty shocking execution scene where they have three people that are buried up to their waist in dirt, basically like manholes, and they're wrapped up in a bed sheet, and they have about 150 to 200 people Standing around them, just throwing rocks at them, and you slowly see the bed sheet turn red. Um, the acts of violence are excruciating. I mean, to the point where some of the decapitation scenes, um, I was starting to breathe heavy. I mean, I've never seen anything this graphic, uh, this in your face before. They show the Daniel Pearl beheading scene as he sends a video to his parents. Um, basically saying goodbye, talking about his uh, grandfather's name being on a street in Israel. And you could tell the tone in, you know, in his voice. He's really starting to get emotional. He knows that the end is near. And you know, they show them cutting his head off. But it's like freeze frame. They don't, it's not a video. Um, one in particular that really got me um, upset was they got this 21 or 22 year old kid. And he's on a chair, and they have members of Al-Qaeda in the background. And they say their little bullshit speech, and um, they grab the kid, throw him to the ground, pull his head back, and they start cutting his throat. And they're like sawing into it, so you see up close, it's very graphic. And the kid is screaming, he's crying, you know. And what shocked me the most is they almost got... His head's almost removed at this point. There's like two inches away from his head completely being removed from his body. And the kid's mouth was still moving and he was still like panting and moaning, which totally took me off guard. Um, and what they do is when the person's head is removed, they're on their stomach and their hands are behind their back and they put the decapitated head on the person's back. Like, I guess it's like a showcase for everybody to see. Um... But there are like four or five decapitation scenes that are the harshest, the most sick that I've ever seen. And I'm just warning you guys, if you watch this, uh, be aware that this shit will traumatize you. But in me, it worked as a positive because it really woke me up to see what was going on in the world. But anyway, um, that's my review and thank you for watching.